Good morning, folks. My name is George DeCamp, and I'm here with Ann Malarich for the first of our um, new Brook Green Garden Master Photography Tips. We're going to do water lilies today. We have several different colors. We have some nice white ones. We have a blue and a yellow one in the back, and they're really starting to open now in the light. So today what we have is uh, we have a lot of clouds coming and going and um, which the cloudy days are actually good for photography of this kind of uh, subject because you don't get the harsh light hitting off the flowers and, and overexposing and, and causing your blinkies to go crazy on your camera and we'll get into what blinkies are and all that kind of stuff a little bit later. So what I did was I set my f-stop and my shutter to a, a specific number and the ISO is going to float back and forth to compensate for clouds or sun. So it'll get, you know, a little bit less ISO when the sun is out and a little bit more ISO to let more light in when we have clouds. Uh, and it just works better on a day like this for me. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to work that way for you, but just so you know that that exists, it's a really a good tool to have. So right now I have my camera set at f5.6 and the reason I do that is because I want to get the, that center of the flower, that yellow part of the flower, nice and sharp and maybe let it get a little bit softer as it goes out to the edges to make it look a little dreamy. But if you want to set your shutter to um, f16, the whole flower would be in focus. But for today we're going we're gonna to just concentrate on having it a little bit wider open and getting that little bit of dreamy look to the flower and but yet have that center point nice and sharp. Oh. I also have my camera set on matrix metering versus spot metering because I want to take into the, uh, uh, account the whole scene. Being that the, the light is changing, it'll compensate for that a little bit better than one little spot, just in my opinion. Also, I have <clears throat> uh, my camera on a tripod and you'll see I have a shutter release here and that's to keep it nice and steady so that we get a nice sharp image. Alright, so I'm focusing right now on that um, I guess it's a pinkish color water lily and you'll notice that there's rain coming down which could be good too because we're going to get some little water drops on on the petals. So I have like once again I'm at one one thousandth of a second nice and quick my, uh, we're at f5.6 and I'm at auto ISO and ISO now has gone up to 3200 because of the clouds. So here we go, let's take a couple of shots. Okay. Um, now we have that one, we have some blue ones also over there. So let's go check those out. Level my camera, tighten it up. I have my focus right on the flower itself, and I'm still at f5.6, but I'm going to kick it up a little bit to, to give me a little bit more depth of field. So I'm going to go to f8 for this, and it'll still get my background nice and dreamy looking because of the uh, it's a, just a plain flat colored water. So let's take a couple of shots and my ISO already now has gone up to ISO 6400 because of the clouds again and because I kicked up my f-stop to f8. So let's take a couple of shots. Okay so now what we did was we switched the lens on the camera to a macro lens. This is a Nikon 200 millimeter macro lens. It's an f4 lens, so it's going to let in a little bit more light than the 5.6 lens. Um, and I'm going to hand hold this. So what I'm going to do, still I'm going to keep it in auto ISO because you can see if you could look up, the clouds are coming and going, the sun's popping in and out, or the light keeps changing. And I'm going to have, I have my camera set on f4, and my speed is 1 to 1000 because I'm, holding, I'm hand holding this lens and I wanted to get a sharp shot so I'm going to kick that speed up to make the sharp image. So let's try a few.
Okay, looks good. Once again, what I did was I focused on that center point and at F4, some of the flower in front of the center point is going to be out of, a little bit out of focus and some of the flower in back of that point is going to be also a little bit out of focus. But we're going to get those petals in the center, those pistils or whatever they're called, nice and sharp. And we can really crop down with a nice 46 megapixel camera to really make a, a different kind of image. Okay, so I just we just wanted to let you know that <clears throat> at the end of this video there's going to be uh, an email address and if you look at that email address if you have any topics or suggestions that you'd like to make um, you would email Vicki Richardson who's the head of this uh, the coordinator for the outreach program and she'll get back to us and let us know. Um, in the meantime I hope you enjoyed it and this is just the first of many, hopefully, and, and let us know what your suggestions might be, and thank you.